right? That's a couple. That's a couple. Okay, you're going to notice I didn't give you the basic graph shape explicitly, but you should still be able to figure it out from just looking at this thing. So from just looking at this thing, would you say this is a straight line? Is this the V? Is this the parabola? Or is this the, uh, the funny half parabola on the side thing? Parabola. Why is it a parabola? Because that's square. Definitely. That's for sure a parabola. Now, we're still going to go about and do the same thing we did on these examples, which is we're going to go from the right to the left. I made a mis misspoke earlier. It said left to right. We're going from the right to the left, identifying these things. So we're going to go right to left. The first thing I see is a plus 2. Now, we should know that that plus 2, that's at the end of our function. That's after everything's happened already. That's adding 2 to whatever number you get out of this. What's that going to do to our graph? That's right. This is a vertical shift up 2. No problem. This thing told us it was a parabola, so that 2 really doesn't do a whole lot for us. It just said, oh, you're, you're dealing with a parabola there. But inside of our graph, this thing, or inside our function, this thing does something. That minus 3 should shift it somehow. How is it shifted? Right, right. Good. So, so far we have up 2, it was at the end. We move a little bit to the left. We have right 3, we're going to move to the right. And lastly, there's one more piece of this puzzle we have. What is it? Okay. Yeah, this negative here. That negative, when you see that, that's going to be a reflection, or you're going to flip it over. So we'll put reflect. Well, let's see how this turns out. Our original shape. You can choose to put this or not. I really don't care. If you do put it, you have to label your functions. Okay? If you don't put it, well then it's going to be implied that the, the function you draw is h of x. So if I draw my original like we've been practicing, if I draw that, you have to label this like f of x. Okay? And you have to label the next one h of x because I need to be able to tell the difference between them. You're with me on that, right? I can't have you just draw two random graphs and go, pick one. Okay, that, that's not going to work. Uh, so this is f of x. Now we're going to make h of x by doing, by the way, this is optional. You don't have to do this. You can go directly to this one if you'd like. We're going to, we're going to shift this around to make our h of x. It said we're going to go up 2. So on our graph, we're going to make two steps up. It said we're going to go to the right 3. That's 1, 2, 3 to the right. We do a combination of those moves. So we're going to go up 2 and right 3, and we're going to put a point right there. That's the first thing you look at. You look at up or down first, then you look at left or right, then you put your point, and then you determine whether you're going to be upward facing like your original, or downward facing if it's a reflection. Which one are we going to be in this case? Yeah. yeah, we're not going to be like this. That would be, you'd draw the same parabola if you did not have the negative there. But that negative says your original, you're not only are you going to shift it up, not only are you going to shift it right, but you're also going to reflect it. So we shift up, we shift right, and then we draw this thing upside down. And since I have two graphs, I have to label that h of x. It's probably a good idea to label it anyway, but you, you absolutely must if you have two graphs on that thing. Would you raise your hand feel okay with this? Good for you. I'm going to give you two to try on your own. Let's work through these, and then we'll be done with our section. By the way, I want to point out that when I do the square roots, I'll put a little tail at the end of that thing. That way, if you, if you have to rewrite it, you know exactly where that stops. So that's not going over this plus one, that's just this minus one right there. So go ahead and graph those. You can choose to draw your basic graph shape first if you'd like, and then shift that around, or go directly to the shift. 
but I do want you to circle those items and tell me what they're doing. So practice that. Have you noticed that when you really get the hang of these, these problems can go very, very fast for you? You just kind of look at the angle, oh yeah, I know exactly what that's doing, if you really get the ideas. Let's talk about G of X, all right? Firstly, you got to be, it's, it's really imperative that you understand the basic graph shape of these things. Uh, what is the basic graph shape here? Yeah, that's the V. You've got to be able to identify between the parabola and the V and the half of the parabola on the side and the straight line, you've got to be able to do that. So in our case, for sure, we get the V because we have the absolute value. So it's going to be an absolute value graph. We're going to go identify these things. So off to the right, we're going to start over here. What's that minus 3 tell us? Yeah. Down. Good. And this in here, that's within the function. So that's going to be what? Left. That's right. I mean, correct? Left. Left 2. Okay, so we have down 3, we have left 2, we actually have an idea about where this graph is going. And then lastly, this minus means something. What's that tell you to do? Reflect. That's that reflect. That's right. So this is going to be upside down V. If you chose to draw your original graph, that's fine. So the basic graph shape here would be a V starting at the origin. That would be the basic graph there. Now, in order to shift this thing around, it said we're going to move it down three. Okay, we can do that. We're going to move it to the left two, and that's where we put our point, right there. Lastly, we determine whether we're upward facing or downward facing. That's the idea. In this case, since we said reflect, we're not going to be upward facing anymore. It flipped it over. So we should be not a V, but kind of like a mountain top. That's really what we're, we should be looking like here. So we'll draw our V. Make sure we label this G of X. Yeah. Which way should we get that? Good for you. That's fantastic. What's the graph shape of this one? Weird line. Good. Yeah, that's the half parabola. Make sure that when you're drawing these, I saw some of this on your last graphing uh, homework. Some people are continuing this downward. It doesn't continue. Okay, it stops. This graph actually is, is there. Uh, you can't even plug in these numbers. This is square root, right? So if you plug in negatives, you get this thing wrong. I mean, you cannot have that. Unless you shift it around, unless you shift it around, you can't have anything on this side of the graph. Are you with me on this? Shifting it to is all bets are off the table because I can plug in different things depending on where my shifting is. But if you're just drawing the square root of x, it has to stop right here. It has an ending point or a starting point if you want to consider it that. So we'll identify what these things are doing. This is a plus one. That means we're going to go up one. Minus one, that happens to be within the square root. That counts as within the function. So if it's within that square root, we know we're going to be moving to the, in this case, right one. And we're going to reflect it because that negative is out front of the entire thing. So from here, it says we move it up one spot. We move it right one spot. 
And that's where we put our point. But wait a second. We're also supposed to reflect it. So am I going to get the same graph like this? No. What am I going to get? The other half of the parabola. Yeah, it's like the other half. That's right. It's like this half. It's shifted a little bit, so it's not going to match up exactly. But you should get something about like that on your graph. Instead of being curvy this way, it's curvy this way. It's the other half of that parabola. So we move this up one, we move it right one, and then we reflect it. Make sure you label that appropriately. That's our f of x in this particular case, and we're done. Guys, do you feel okay about this graphing stuff? Yeah. Are you able to identify the basic graph shapes without me giving it to you? Okay. Are you able to identify an upward shift and a downward shift? How about a left and a right? Which one's right again, the minus or the plus? Minus. Minus means right, plus means left. Okay. And what tells you how to reflect or what to do? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's very good.